Suffering from FUD, fear, uncertainty, uncertainty, and fear. <laughs> fear, uncertainty, and D. FUD's D is uh, distraction. The distraction. 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 Ah. Uh, you might be suffering from FUD, uh, but if you don't, if you don't, don't be afraid. You can actually use uh, Ubuntu as uh, not only as a live CD to tinker with, but also as a lifeboat. You can use it even as a recovery tool. To uh, imagine you're working on, on XP or on Vista, and someday there's no way anymore to start your computer. Are you seriously? Does that really happen? It, Are there occasions that a very small occasions that it okay, happens? Okay. I, I've had it once. I've had it once in my life. So you've got so, your XP or Vista install, and yes. it's dead. There was no way I could restart my computer. There was no way. No way you could. No. The only thing I could do was put. The Windows CD in it, and format the, the, whole, hard the whole hard drive. But I had pictures, I had porn. important information. Porn. <laughs> That's on the other disk. Uh, porn. <laughs> okay. That's on the other disk. But there were I, there are still some important files I could not throw away. Okay. So we took the Ubuntu Live CD. Yeah. And we put them in our computer. Yeah. We connected on the computer an external hard drive. Yeah. So your your Windows CD, your yeah, Windows uh, hard drive is actually inside. No, no, this is Wait, your the live CD is working from out a CD player. Okay. So you're not using the hard the hard drive at all. At all. You're not doing anything with it. Not the local one. Not the USB no. one. You yeah. can you, you can use it in full safety. There's no damage. It's gonna happen. There's no file that's gonna be overwritten. Uh, the computer thinks the CD player is the hard drive. Okay. So, so it doesn't touch your hard no. drive. You have to adjust your BIOS settings. So it uh, boots from a CD player. Okay, okay. That's what you have to do. Once you've done that, you can start the live, live CD. CD. And at this point, the live CD is already uh, started. We've connected an external uh, hard drive. And we're going to use this to save our data. We're going to use that external hard drive to save the data from the broken uh, Windows hard drive yep. to the external uh, uh, hard disk we Everybody has that this, this time. So this you can also use a uh, USB stick. Yeah. Uh, you can use a CD player too to yeah. uh, save Perfect. your uh, data. I'm going to demonstrate you the version uh, with the external, external hard drive. So the ingredients are one broken Windows XP or Vista install that yes. won't boot no matter what. Yes. We've got one uh, Ubuntu Live CD. Yeah. It's a CD. You can have them in this form or you can download it. And burning yourself. And burning yourself, yes. But these ones are the ones that you can order for free. These ones are the ones you can order for free, yes. Okay. That's the older version. This is still this, the, the Phase Default 704. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's because the new ones aren't uh, ready available yet. yet. Yes. Okay. I ordered them, but they're not uh, available yet. And they can just go to the website of Ubuntu. You can go to the Ubuntu CDs. website, download the CD, or order the CD. It's no problem. And they'll ship it throughout the world for free. Yes. It's completely for free. Okay. So. We go to places and we can find our external hard drive, Western Digital. USB 2. Yes, two it's USB right two. there. It's right, right there. You just click on it. And, and this is a this is formatted FAT32, right? Yes. Okay. Indeed. Uh, don't look at the files on it. It's just uh, my local files on the external hard drive. Okay. I'm not trying to save that. No, no, that's already you. saved. I go to my computer. Now it's uh, from a CD. It's trying to locate all the files on your uh, hard disk. Oh, it can so it, re it actually recognizes all of the yes. partitions that are on it. Yes. This is the mark of a true geek, people. This yeah. man has like one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, we no. just have one or two partitions. You're a geek if you have more. A geek has floppy drive like I am. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you're a true geek, you have a floppy drive. Okay. No, but I, I recognize my volumes. Uh, I've formatted my hard drive in three pieces. Uh, 8.1 gigabyte volume. Yeah. That's where my uh, XP yeah. is uh, located on. I have this 95.7 uh, gigabytes volume. Mm -hmm. I know it's my uh, partition where I keep all my folders, my oh. music, my. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. No music, just. <laughs> just war. Okay. Just war. Okay, if you like it. Uh, and that's a an, uh, second uh, hard drive uh, partition. Yeah. On, on that hard drive, actually. So I know my data I want to save is on the. Big this, this partition is formatted NTFS, right? Yes. So even though it's an NTFS partition, Ubuntu just opens it up. Uh, yes, it's true. Yes, it's so, they, yes, they do. So Windows file protection yeah, that does is, not work. That that now works, but the new NTF, NTFS uh, 3G. Uh, yeah. System that's uh, custom, that's the uh, yeah. that's, that's standards, standards yeah. uh, in Ubuntu now. Yeah. Oh, oh. So even even the version in Vista, it will just open up. It will just open. Up. So you can actually save the data from your own computer with it's formatted using NTFS and protected using NTFS, regardless. Of. Yes. Even if it's not your computer. But you didn't hear that from me. No. <laughs> Absolutely, don't sponsor behavior like that. We don't go and browse our sister's hard drive, even if she has a password or not. We don't do that. No, <laughs> no, we don't do that. No, no, no. So, yeah. But then we see and We're always wondering what she's doing with the webcam at night. But, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to try Ubuntu, and you have a sister who's a webcam. You're a funny guy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just speaking everybody's yeah. So I open uh, the file where I know, uh, the, the, where data I know the data is at. And I have, for example, I want to map the distros. So I want to save it. That's nice, you're standing in front of the camera. Well, look, yeah, the, ladies and gentlemen, he wants to be on camera. We're going we're gonna to give him some screen. If you, if you <laughs> download a movie, yeah? which is filmed in a, in a cinema, you always see one guy standing up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. That's the guy. Oh, okay. There's a, the one and only screener spoiler. We have one right here. So uh, that's Fabian, the, the, yep. the movie spoiler. The movie spoiler. I mean, it was Spider-Man yep. 3, the kiss that you didn't yep. see, that was it. So what do we do? We just grab. The disk, the disk yeah. with, the, with the mouse. With the data that we And we drag it yeah. to the Western Digital external and drop it. drive and we drop it. And there you go. It's now copying files. So, my Windows distribution is dead. Yes. I boot with the Linux CD. Yes. I access my data. Yes. No matter, regardless if it's protected or anything. And I can just drag it across. You can just drag it across. Okay, how about how that? E how much easier can we do okay, it? This is, this is like, uh, this is a life It doesn't even ask me, are you sure? It doesn't. And no. Vista even asks me, are you sure you're sure? Are you really sure? <laughs> you really want to do this? Now, what I just. For kicks, can we do it the other way around? Can I drag a file from the USB CD? Yes, of course. So, can you just demonstrate it? Because that used to be a major problem writing to an NTFS partition. For instance, I have. Oh, but I will let him uh, slowly yeah. copy that files. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put my bookmarks. Yeah. Uh, so, I formatted my CD, for instance. Uh, and I want to have my bookmarks from uh, Firefox yeah. onto my, my hard drive. You can do it with the live CD. Yeah. I'm going to to, I'm gonna use it just as an example. I'm okay. not going to use it. Uh, you can use any other uh, tool to do that. But even if the item to, to, to drop and. So if your sister doesn't have any incriminating photos <laughs> on her hard drive, you can, you can always put them, put them there. there. Okay. Jesus, gonna, uh, time out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're really giving people bad ideas here. But just, just as an example, so if I take, if I take the bookmarks file, I can just drag yeah. it back. Yes, you can. Oh. No. Ah, ah. So no. there is a. No, no, that's, that's. That's because it's a read-only partition. Yeah. That's that's the only. Yeah. But you don't need to do that. No. I mean, if your Windows is working, you can do it just like that. I was just hoping it did. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is this is really what live TV is all that's about. That's strange. That's uh, writing protection. That's. Uh, no. Yeah, you cannot do that. It's so you cool. cannot put Things compromising down. photos from your sister on ah. somebody else's uh, computer. So little sis will uh, be okay. sleeping. Safe. She will be sleeping. She'll safe. be safe. Okay. okay. Or, thank now you. Now we got much. our data saved. Yeah. Our distro folder is saved. We can now lock off and turn off our computer. And there you have it. And we can put the external hard drive onto a working hard drive, onto a working computer. And you have, then you can just reinstall. And you can it. just work with all. The the files you saved. So if you don't want to go totally Buntu, you can actually uh, find a way to even recover your data. Great tool. Thank you very much, Bart.
It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Night Vice. <laughs> Always a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. Sort of You're a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs>